Lovers and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. This is just not our night <laughs> for horror movies, and we're here to talk about that right now here on CML Entertainment. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. The Scathing. Oh my god, man. The movie was written and directed by Joseph Mazzaferro. What did I think about this film? <sighs> okay, the movie starts off with the girl Amanda. Okay, she's talking to her mom, and she she wants to go out to a party with her with her friends, and the mother tells her no. She's like, no, you're not going. The father agree. No, she's not going. So she gets into an argument with her mom, and then she ends up stomping up the steps. Okay, for one, I would have whooped her ass because you're not gonna do that in my house. <laughs> That's one. Two, she goes to bed, then, you know, the mother feeling really guilty that she told her daughter no, but see, they just trying to stick to their, you know, stick to what they said that she can't go. So, her boyfriend pops up, he throws rocks at her window, she opens the window, not open the window, but she's at the window, and she's telling him, like, okay, wait a minute. So, she sneaks outside with her boyfriend, She they drives off, you see, like, some weird tall guy that's inside of her house. When they drive off, so they end up going out to this area, which is, it being being as her being a young lady, why would somebody even instead of a party that y'all supposed to go to, he ends up taking you way out somewhere that's like in the woods and it's all like weird and in cabins and shit, and they go out there. So next thing you know, they do whatever they do. The next day, <laughs> they they wake up. The car clearly broke down. Cell phones are dead. The boyfriend's cell phone works, so he ended up calling a friend because he can't get the car to start. So the, once the friend get up there, that's when everything gets started. All of a sudden, this really big, tall dude, like somebody takes the boy car, the other guy car that's up, that's up there, and drives off. And the next thing you know, the, 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 the guy's running after his car, and then he stops, and you see this really big, tall, huge guy. So he hits him with like this awesome weapon, and that, that's what I did like about the movie. I love this weapon that he had, where he can stick his hands, his fingers inside of it, and they got all these like weird ass tractical blades like hanging up, and he hits him in the chest, then takes um, booty shorts and slam her head in <laughs> into the car, and the next thing you know, like the friends just get knocked off one by one. What I did not understand was I didn't understand. Why, when you're trapped in a car, okay, I understand the dynamic of y'all being trapped in a car, but why no one I didn't get away? I didn't get that, and I definitely didn't, un like, the way the story was patterned out just did not make any sense to why, what was happening. Then one minute, the girl would get away, and she'll get in someone's car, but then she'll end up back inside the same car. And it happened, like, what, twice mm -hmm. throughout the movie? So I didn't understand it, and the ending was like, the ending didn't make no sense because I didn't understand how the fuck was it even her <laughs> when the girl clearly had the same fucking clothes on. She didn't have no blood on her shirt. She didn't have no blood on her pants. She had no blood on her shoes, so there was no way indicating where she did the murder. You know what? I'm this fucking, I'm, this just not out night. No. This is, <laughs> let's yeah. give this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie two thumbs down and a big ass disappointment. Oh no, not again. Listen, right, I can understand. Listen, a movie always makes sense if your story makes sense. Everything ties in needs to make sense. And the movie was completely a drag fest. And and, and, and one credit I have to get to it, just maybe that one credit is that is it one disturbing, disgusting Thing I could not take when this guy started eating on the brain. Like, I literally had to suffer with hearing him snack on the brain. I couldn't even watch, like, what? Like, a good 15, 15 minutes of the movie because that's how graphic it is. And I, I can't stand that shit. Y'all know me. I would throw the fuck up in a heartbeat. I cannot watch that shit. But to make the overall, it just didn't make any sense. I, I It didn't make sense to me. I didn't understand that. And like I said, when I watch movies, I thoroughly watch a movie. I don't just pinpoint and pick out certain things. But if they all don't add up, you know, add up and the elements of the movie just doesn't pattern, I can't be fair. I have to just be honest. 
And that's what I am, being honest. I did not enjoy this film. I highly doubt you will, but if you want to, you can check this film out on Amazon right now. You can read it, you can buy it, and then, then leave comments of, of your point of view. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the scat thing, because I told you what I thought about it. I thought it was awful. It got my worst rating, my highest worst rating, <laughs> just like the other movie did. <laughs> and I'm done for the night. I'm done until the next cycle. <laughs> <laughs> and to all my movie lovers, I love you.